adjust this camera a little bit. I've been so excited doing my toy stuff today that I figured I'd make another video. I want to say this is video number four for the day. Um, got one more box. We're going to open it up. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to take a look and just have fun with it. Like, I've been super happy. I had a lot of fun looking at stuff. Apologize for all the glare coming in the background. I need as much light as possible. So let's go ahead. Uh, this box has quite a bit of open room in it. So that's good. Because I have some toys that I pulled out earlier. I don't have space for them now. So I wanted to package them nice uh, back where they go. Uh, first thing out of this box. Man, this thing is hefty. Batman. The ERTL Company Incorporated. I don't know what that is. I gotta go check this out. Um, this is the Joker van. This thing is heavy though. Die cast metal. It's got a cool little Joker. I guess it's kind of hard to see, but kind of looks like Jigsaw from Saw, but it's got a Joker in the driver's seat. Big old Joker van. That's pretty cool. <coughs> Big old purple van. Next in line here, what do I got? Spider-Man <coughs> Hobgoblin Wing Bomber. Once again, package is in great condition. Pretty sure that is a Toys R Us clearance tag. Uh, but yeah, package is in great condition. Everything is there. Everything's golden. Yep, Toys R Us. Uh, like I said, I have random vehicles. I have random action figures. It was funny, I was eating dinner and I was watching Spider-Man the Animated Series. Trying to catch up, trying to reintegrate myself with a lot of the, the toys I have here. Uh, what do I got next? 10 inch figure, Marvel Knights, Black Panther. Everyone knows who the Black Panther is thanks to 2018, February. Um, but here's a Black Panther 10 inch figure. It's like number 15 I've put online for the day. I don't know. Careful. Uh, what do we got next here? Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars Turbo Cycle. Awesome armored vehicle carries Marvel Superheroes into battle. Secret Wars. I don't have a lot of glare. I gotta figure that out. Uh, the turbo cycle. Guns move in and out. Wheels really roll. Holds two figures that are not included. They're battle sounds. This is. Oh, it's been safety tested. Um, this is made by Mattel, 1984. Before I was born. This thing's older than I am. Secret Wars Turbo Cycle. And right next to the Turbo Cycle, I have the Doom Cycle from Toy Liquidators on sale for $2.99. The Doom Cycle. So I had the Doom Cycle and the Turbo Cycle. They were both in the same box. Uh, let me see. 1984, same year. So it's going to be interesting when I look these up to see what they're worth. Uh, especially knowing that this one was sold for $2.99. I'm hoping that is uh, worth quite a bit more than $2.99 nowadays. Uh, man, this is just a, a unique box. Check this out. Secret Wars, Captain America, 1984. Man, that's cool. With his secret shield, awesome athlete leads Marvel superheroes into battle. Um, it's got a hologram sticker on here, and then his shield, which changes when you look at it different ways. Um, I don't know how much this thing is worth. I know that it's pretty old, and I know that a lot of people are digging the old Secret Wars stuff now, so um, to the point where they reissued a lot of the Secret Wars toys. Uh, I'm gonna have to look that one up, and I'll get with you next video and see what I found on it. I don't have any more Secret War stuff in here. Let's just grab a random here. Um, here we go. We got Spawn. Zombie Spawn. McFarlane Toys. 
One of these older Spawn figures. I know in a previous video I said I was going to wear my Spawn shirt. Maybe I'll wear that tomorrow. Um, but Ultra action figure, Todd McFarlane, ages 5 and up. I would love to have my five-year-old play with a toy. Something very similar to this. You know, shotgun, whatnot. And I actually remember having this as a kid. Um, when I say as a kid, like, you know, probably nine, ten years old. But I just remember having it because I thought it was so cool. I thought guns that fit in the hands, different guns, whatever, were the coolest toys you could get as a kid. So next in the same box, another spawn figure. Uh, nobody. Another spawn figure. I don't even know. Series seven. I guess this is series seven. Um, zombie spawn. Oh, I just realized zombie spawn's got a chainsaw. Zombie spawn. Nobody. Um, and I guess there's quite a few other ones. Twitch and Sam, which you guys saw many, many videos ago. Um, all sorts of cool stuff. A lot of spawn figures, so that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm digging it. More spawn. Check this out. Let's just keep going. Techno spawn. Gray Thunder. This is a rhinoceros. Um, this is probably, this is series 15. Um, I stopped paying attention to Spawn probably, like I said, when HBO stopped being cool. What year is this from? 1999? Um, so, 1999, I, will, I was pretty much just getting out of Spawn at this point. Wasn't really reading the comic books, but it's pretty cool. It is a rhinoceros that's got a large gun that rotates and fires missiles. We have a Black Panther figure down there. They're kind of the same thing, because... If you watch Battle of Wakanda, they've got all sorts of cool animals, whatever. I'm probably just making a fool of myself. Random loose figure. I have no idea what this is. What's that, buddy? Hey, Bill, buddy. Come on. This says Kenner on it. And it's in a bag. And he's got a metallic... Axe. I don't have any idea who or what this is. Anybody out there, if they can tell me. Um, I feel this is probably some sort of mail-away business. This is really weird. I have no idea who it is. I'm going to look it up, though. It was made in Hong Kong. Ten-inch action... The Demi Goblin? Demo Goblin? Anybody? Was this past my time? It says 1998, so maybe not, but I gotta look this guy up. Flying Heroes 10 inch figure. Let me see what that bad boy is all about. Right next to Mr. Black Panther over there. Um, looks like I got two of these bad boys in here. Uh, we saw some in earlier videos. Famous covers. Come on, Velcro. Cyclops. Pretty cool looking. Followed by... You gotta stretch for this one. Oh, I got a bunch of them. Uh, followed by Mr. Magneto. 8-inch ultra posable figure with authentic fabric costume. So, there's a Magneto in this box. A Cyclops. And... Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler looks pretty cool. Uh, Nightcrawler was one of my favorites. I used to play with Nightcrawler when I was playing the stand-up arcade machine at the bowling alley at the whatever. I would just show up and I'd be like, I want to play as Nightcrawler. Uh, because Nightcrawler was always the coolest. Next in this box. Another Secret Wars Doom Cycle. 
the difference between this doom cycle and this doom cycle is they are both the same color, but this one has uh, stuff written. I want to say that's French. So kind of different, kind of unique to see um, how much smaller the Secret Wars logo is because then it's also written. I want to say that's in French. Um, so that's a little interesting. It's the exact same that we saw before, just written in French. Uh, nice in this box. Last action hero. Evil Eye Roadster. Uh, sadly, the back of this box looks like it went through a little bit of business, but made by Mattel. Evil Eye Roadster. Shift gear to pop out Evil Eye Headlamp and Battering Ram. So that's kind of cool. There's vehicles. I mean, every series in the 90s had vehicles, so it's pretty cool to see. Speaking of vehicles, I got two more. The Wolverine Jeep. Um, to this day, who knows? Maybe I'll get a big bonus from work and I'll go buy a Jeep Wrangler and I'll make it look like the Wolverine Jeep. Uh, the Ultimate X-Men Battle Machine. I don't know about the whole saber tooth trapping business with the wood chipper. But be on the lookout. Maybe I'll get a big bonus from work and I'll have to go make myself a Wolverine Jeep. Mini Blackbird Jet. Uh, once again, this is the same as the Last Action Hero. <coughs> the box kind of got beat up a little bit, but still looking pretty good, still looking pretty cool. Flip open canopy with ejector seat. Um, the only reason I would have bought this is so I could hit the ejector seat and send Cyclops flying because nobody likes Cyclops. You always want to send him flying, hopefully, into space where no one can save him. Not even Jean Grey. No one likes... No one likes you, Cyclops. Uh, the last few things in this box. Uh, another Techno Spawn. Steel Trap. It looks like an alligator. <coughs> so, we already had the Rhino from earlier. And now we have an alligator, which is pretty awesome. Fully, four fully rotating pulse rifles, powerful jaws. Specialty kills by whipping the victim with armor plated tail. Interesting. Um, I don't know what was going on with Spawn, a savage hybrid of animal flesh and machinery in Techno Spawn at that time. But they're kind of cool. <coughs> I think about movies like Rampage that just came out. Uh, people used to play the video game, you know, the stand-up arcade machine. Kind of some cool toys from the mid-late 90s that or early Rampage figures, if you will. Stuff's falling everywhere. And next in line, got another one. Um, Grey Thunder, which is another one of the Rhinos with all sorts of cool missile launchers. <coughs> and then the last thing in this box, be very quick about getting it, is a Batmobile. And it's made by the same company, that ERTL. Um, the same company that you see the Joker van was one of the first things, I think the first thing I pulled out of this box. Um, so here is a Batman Batmobile, uh, 1989, made out of die cast metal. So I'm interested, I'm going to look up what a lot of these things are. Um, also, if anyone's watching, has any idea what this thing is? It's from Kenner, it's got spikes on the arms. I'm gonna figure it out by the end of the day, but it's very interesting. 
But side note, I look forward to seeing, kind of doing a little bit of research on all this stuff. Um, thank everyone for watching. I appreciate it. And I think my excitement's done for the day. I'm done making my videos. And I will catch you guys tomorrow when I'm done with work. Have a good day.